In this time where it's often recommended to only look forward and to not look back, is there value in stopping reflecting and looking back? Well, a recent experience of mine suggests that it's really valuable to do that. Hello, happy Tuesday. This is Darren Roberts, Master Trainer at Impact Training Corporation and the Abundance Accelerant. Welcome to the Tuesday Tickle and Tick. Today, do I dare look back? Well, if you know me well or you've checked out my socials recently, you would know that last week was my wife Kirsty and my 20th wedding anniversary. And to celebrate that, we stayed in a hotel for a couple of nights and a few days at a hotel which has great memories for us, which is the Intercontinental Hotel here in Adelaide. Now, the Intercontinental used to be the Hyatt Hotel, and that's where our memories really kicked off. I worked there for six years, which I'll tell you more about in a second. But I also proposed to Kirsty in the Hyatt. We had a wedding night in the Hyatt, so it's got some awesome memories. So we're better to spend our 20th wedding anniversary. So as we checked in, went to the room, etc., then we went for a bit of a wander through the hotel to reminisce. And part of that was to go through the fitness center. Now, as I said, the Intercontinental used to be the Hyatt Hotel. And at that time, the fitness center was privately owned by Robin Pam. And it was a public health club as well as the hotel health club, where now it's purely the hotel health club. But as we walked through there and we did do some reminiscing, the structure of the center was almost exactly the same. It had the office area where I spent so much time working and, and uh, progressing. Uh, we had the reception area where, yes, we got great, gave great service to our members, but we had a great time uh, as a crew as well. It was a really good team. A lot of them I'm still good friends with now. We walked through the gym and structurally it was very, very similar. So a lot of these memories came flooding back. I remember the people that were there, Kirsty was uh, a member there as well. Um, and it was really a starting point. This was in 1996. I worked there from 1996 to 2002. I just was finishing university and it was, uh, I worked casually for a couple of years and then was full time for four years there as well. So it was really the starting point of my progression in, the, in my career. Started as a gym instructor and doing some work cover rehabilitation for clients and then full-time as sales manager and assistant manager. And that was really where it was called Executive Choice Fitness. And I've even donned the old shirt, Executive Choice Fitness shirt today. Do you uh, still got it? Uh, still fits. Um, Executive Choice Fitness and also changed its name to Choice Fitness as well. But as I said, that's really what progressed my career, but also gave me a real passion for business development and leadership it was the first sales training that I'd, I'd ever been through. And now, of course, for years, I've, I've trained other people in business development and sales. It was the first business conference that I ever went to, which was Filex. And I've presented myself at Filex five or six times over the years since then. So it was a real starting point of a progression. So it was nice to look back, not just at the people that I associated with and we had some great times with, but also that starting point of progression in, in my career, which is sort of 26 years age, uh, years old of a, of a career, um, helping other people in business, in sales and leadership and communication. And I remembered the people that I'd met there. I'll give plenty of you a shout out shortly including some of the industry icons. I remember um, Jamie Hayes. I remember exactly where you were in Choice Fitness when I met you for the first time and, and Justin Tams at JT. Um, you were there on a round table at the time and I think it was Rob's turn to, to host the round table and, and we met for the first time over that period. And, and with both of us, Jamie and JT, we've collaborated together uh, many times since then and I'm sure we'll do uh, again, going forward. So we'll just think about, wow, we've done so much together. Um, and that was a starting point. But also for all of the, the team members, and I'm going to throw a shout out. I apologize if I forget anyone, but a lot of you I'm connected with on, on social media as well. Rob and Pam and Dex, Shay, Kylie, April, Cass, Amanda, Andrew's doing some great things in the industry, Adam, Simon, uh, Kez is doing some great things with physical edge still in the cycling wor world. Stuart, Steve, Luch, Anna, whose birthday is on our wedding anniversary. Happy uh, birthday for last week, Anna. 
And some of those amazing members, some of the members I still see and have contact with, Trevor, uh, Daz, Daz, you're the triathlete legend back there. I can't believe we're still competing each, against each other in cycling all those years later. Ellen and Graham and Salvi, Andrew, who's doing some great things with his own club and studio in the fitness industry. So all these wonderful people that I've met and connected with over the years. So the beauty for me of looking back and reflecting is for me to give a great thank you and a shout out for not just those at Executive Choice Fitness and Choice Fitness over the years, but anyone who I've worked with or for or have been clients of mine over the 26 years of my progression so far uh, in career and business, uh, a massive thank you and an appreciation post to you. Uh, So if you are one of these people that I point out, or we have worked together, or you have been a client of mine over the the past, I'd love you to connect with me on socials. Put a comment in the uh, the comments below if you remember those times. Maybe even you've got a bit of merch uh, from those times as well. Uh, if you have some funny stories or maybe photos, uh, feel free to share them as well. But the beauty for me was not only to celebrate 20 years of marriage with Kirsty, and that comes with its own great reflections and Um, and thoughts as well, but also just walking through that environment where my full-time career really kicked off. Um, It was a great reflection to go, where where was I and where am I now? But what does the next 20 plus years look like as well and what I want to achieve there as well? So for me, there is and was great value in stopping reflecting and taking that time to stop thinking forward for a short period of time and taking that time to reflect. So again, for anyone who's had an influence in my career, we've worked together, I've worked for you or you've been my client, thank you so much. Reach out and connect. I'd love to say, g'day. And maybe it's time for a choice fitness, executive choice fitness reunion. That'd be a bit of fun. All right, have a great Tuesday. Chat soon.